Britain awaits Johnson's Partygate report and now the Prime Minister also has to deal with allegations from a former State Secretary. You might have seen a video of mine about this already. But while political London and presumably the Prime Minister himself is awaiting the report on the Partygate affair, Boris Johnson on Monday ordered another internal Cabinet Office inquiry. This is intended to clarify allegations made by MP Nusrat Ghani over the weekend. In a newspaper interview, the conservative politician complained about the reasoning behind her being stripped of her post as state secretary in the transport ministry during a cabinet reshuffle two years ago. She was said to have been informed at the time that her colleagues did not feel comfortable with her Muslimness. Shortly after the allegation was made public, Chief Whip Mark Spencer admitted to having had the conversation with her, but called Ghani's account of what was said false and defamatory. In the British Westminster democracy, members of the parliamentary group leadership are referred to as whips who are supposed to bring the MPs in close coordination with the party chairman into line. Sometimes they are also responsible for the execution of personal decisions. The Conservative whip, whips have come under fire since a Tory MP accused them of operating intimidation that bordered on blackmail. Several MPs have been threatened with withdrawing public investment from their constituencies if they continue to campaign for a vote of no confidence in the Prime Minister. Opposition politicians had called for an investigation into these allegations last week, but the government sees no clues that anything would be about this. While um, Labour and Lib Dem MPs bemoaned brutal conditions and mafia methods, many Conservative MPs spoke of normal operations. That's normal. <laughs> A now non-party member of the House of Lords told a newspaper, something like this happens every day and in every party. She was also regularly threatened with career consequences in her old party, which was not the conservative one in this case. Accusations of tolerating anti-Muslim resentment with their own ranks are being given more weight in the government. They are taken extremely seriously, said Johnson at least. Education Minister Nadim Zahawi and Health Minister Sajid Javid, the two most senior Muslims in the cabinet, backed Ghani and welcomed Johnson's decision to have the allegations investigated. Opposition politicians criticized that this is only happening now. Ghani complained to Johnson as soon as she was fired, who apparently only advised her to go through the usual complaints channel through the party. But that time he didn't need as many smoke, smoke screens as he could. An inquiry launched by Johnson into Islamophobia and the Conservative Party ended in May last year, finding that anti-Muslim sentiment was mostly local and remains a problem, but was not isolated from institutional racism in the party, so to speak. The report also looked at statements by prominent politicians, including Johnson himself. When he was a journalist, he had compared Muslim women in burqas to mailboxes, a phrase he later said as Prime Minister would not use again. The head of the study, Warwick University Professor of uh, Psychiatry, Swaran Singh at the time, saw the Tories not as a party that systematically discriminates against a particular group, but she drew, that drew criticism from Muslims. A look at the staff of the Conservative government does not allow the conclusion that a different faith or a foreign or origin has a career inhibiting effect. In the key resorts, white Britons are even in the minority. The ministries of finance, interior, economy, health and education, as well as the office of the general prosecutor, are occupied by men and women with a migration background. And I'll see you in my next video. Bis gleich.